Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous videos, we have been designing this video gallery with YouTube videos using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here we can see we can click on any of these videos and uh, the video will be displayed over here and we can just go ahead and click on play and the video will be played in the YouTube player. So we have these different videos over here and the title also changes. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this video gallery to your blogger website. And I will also leave the link of the source code in the description so you can just go ahead and copy and paste it to your websites. So let's get started. Right here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and uh, we can add this uh, video gallery inside a post or a page. Let's add it inside a post. If you want to add it inside a page you can just go to pages and click on new page. But here I'll just add it inside a post. So here we are in posts. So let's click on new post and let's give our post a name. Let's name it video gallery. And the first thing you have to do over here is that switch into the HTML view. So by default, it will be in the compose view. So just click on this button and click on HTML view. And now here we can add the HTML, the CSS and the JavaScript. So let's go to our source code. And this is the source code. So the first thing we will do is add the CSS. So let's go to style.css file. And let's copy all of this CSS from here. And let's go back and paste it over here inside a style tag. So I'll just create a style tag. And here I'll just paste the CSS. All right, the next thing we will do is paste the HTML. So let's make some space over here. And let's go back to our source code. And let's go to the HTML file. And let's paste everything inside the body. So let's start from here. And uh, till here. And let's paste it over here. And the last thing we need to paste is the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag. And let's go back to our source code. Let's go to the main.js file. And let's copy all of this JavaScript from here. And let's paste it over here. Right now we need to make some changes in our source code. So here we can see these are all the links and uh, the thumbnail images and all of those things over here. Now you can go ahead and make the necessary changes over here. So this is basically the iframe by default. So this one right here. So at the beginning we have the first video displayed over here. So this is the embed URL of the first video. Now this is the ID of the video. So if you go to any YouTube post, you will find an ID of the video in the URLs. So you can just copy and paste the ID and paste it instead of this ID right here. So in this way you can customize this for your video galleries. And here you can change the title of uh, the default video. And then these are thumbnails. So here you can go ahead and add the links of your thumbnail images. So right now we can see that the source says images forward slash thumbnail one dot jpeg. But in our blogger website we don't have this folder called images. And we also don't have this uh, jpg file. So the first thing we need to do is upload these images into blogger. Or upload it anywhere on any server and just get the link and paste it over here. We'll just upload it over here in the blogger post itself. So here after the style tag I'll just make some space. And uh, let's go over here to this button called insert image and let's click on upload from computer. And here you have to click on choose files. And here we can see these are the images in our project. So we have the play icon and all these three thumbnail images. So let's select all of these and let's click on open. And let's select all these images and click on select. And now here I'll just select original size and click on OK. Right now here we can see we have all these images uh, added inside our post. Now here we can see we have a specific structure for the images. We have a div with a class of separator and all these things over here. We don't want any of these. We just want the URL of the image. So here in the href we can find the URL. So this is the URL of the play icon. So let's copy this URL from here inside the href. And let's scroll down and let's find the play icon image. So here we can see this is the first play icon image. So here when we hover over this we can see this icon. So this is the play icon. So let's uh, delete this source from here. And let's paste our current URL. Now we need to have the play icon in two other places as well. So let's paste it over here. This is the second play icon. And then lastly we have it over here. 
Right now, let's go ahead and copy and paste the thumbnails. So here we need to have the first thumbnail. So let's scroll up and uh, let's find the URL of the first thumbnail. So here we can see this is the second division with the class of separator and in that we have this anchor tag and this is the link of the first thumbnail. So let's copy it and let's scroll down and paste it over here in the first thumbnail. So here in the SRC, I'll just replace this with the current URL. Let's scroll up and find the second thumbnail image. So this is the second thumbnail image. I'll just copy this. And uh, let's paste it over here in the second thumbnail SRC. And then lastly, we have the third thumbnail. So let's copy this and uh, let's scroll down and paste it over here. So this is the third thumbnail. Right, that's it with all the images in our post. Now let's go ahead and delete all these images. We don't need them anymore. Right now, let's go ahead and click on publish and let's see whether everything works all right. And let's click on confirm. Right here, we can see our post has been published. Let's click on view. And here we can see our video gallery is being displayed over here. But we have some problems in the CSS. The first issue is that we don't have the correct width for this video gallery container. And uh, the next one is that we don't have the correct font weight. So here we can see we have a font weight of 300. But here we don't have the correct font weight and we also don't have the correct color. And even here we don't have the correct color. Right here I'm in fonts.google.com and uh, you can just go to the Roboto font which we are using in our design. If you don't find this font, you can just search it over here. And we need to get two types of styles from here. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the style.css file. And here we need to get, for the title, we need to get this font weight of 300. And then we also need to get a bold font size. So let's go back and let's select light 300. And let's also select a bold font. So let's select this one right here, bold 700. And let's click on view selected families. And here we can get the link for the HTML and also the CSS. Let's get the CSS link. So let's click on import. And we can add this inside the style tag. So let's copy this and uh, let's paste it inside our post. So here inside the CSS, let's add the import link. And now we also need to change the color. So for the main heading, we need to change the color to black. So here, this is the main heading. So let's change the color to black. And for the video title, we need to change the color to white. So here for the video title, let's type color and let's set it to white. And we also had to change the width of this uh, main container. So if we take a look at this, you can see that we have set a width of 900 pixels. So let's change this and uh, let's set it to 100%. And let's click on update. And let's go back to our website and uh, let's refresh this page. And now we can see we have the correct font weight and the color and also the correct width. Now let's decrease the width and let's see how it looks on smaller screen sizes. And uh, the media queries are working all right, but we have some problems in the width of these thumbnails. So what we will do is we will set a fixed width for these thumbnails. So let's go back to our post and uh, let's go to the thumbnail selector. And here we have already set a height. So let's remove this and uh, we need to set a fixed width. So let's go back to our post and let's right click over here and click on inspect. And let's see what is the correct width we need to have. So let's type width and let's set it to, let's try 200 pixels. And I think 240 pixels looks all right. All right, we can go with 240 pixels. So let's go back to our post. And here for the thumbnail, let's set a width of 240 pixels. And if you scroll down for the other screen sizes, we are already changing the width. So here we can see for the thumbnail, we are setting a width of 100% in max width of 700 pixels. So we don't need to worry about that. Now here in this media query of 900 pixels, we are just setting the width to 100% for the video gallery container, which we are already doing over here. 
so we have just now changed the width to 100% so we can now just remove this media query all right now let's click on update and now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see everything looks all right Alright, so that's basically how you add a responsive video gallery to your blogger website. Now, I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.